welcome back guys this is the uh, next part of my God of War Ragnarok let's play let's uh, see if we can't free this jellyfish sandfish jelly sand thing <laughs> I'm not sure what to make of it I had the blue I had the blue where'd it go in a second. Both of them. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Quite know why it couldn't get the first time, but Get out. Much of the hype matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? Hathkafers are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark health friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves. Any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural... One the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the Hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this Hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? <sighs> no. Then let us free it. Treasure map complete. Virtue's gold. Virtue's gold. 
A lethal detonation. Unstable gemstones carve craving death and destruction. Yep, there it is. So you just refuse to pick a favorite poem? That's uncharacteristically indecisive of you. I have a favorite poem already. One from my homeland. Belt of Radiant. Let's get out of this dragon's skeleton before it wakes up. Slaying deposit. This is the spot. We can cut the half goofa loose here. We'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered? He just wants to spend time with you, lad. While he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you... for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. From the... perspective of a father who already lost... so much.
many of you may not have played the original games. I've been... Amir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They All that thought. I think it's about to get violent. As I was saying, I followed the Kratos, the Kratos games, the God of War games, right from the start. It's well worth playing all of them. If anything, his backstory is dark, but sad. <laughs> That. A diagram for a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do with it.
Amir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Okay. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. <laughs> he went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Grimther. Who built the walls of Asgard. And whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. Enough. We will continue later. <laughs> Probably all I can explore in the barrows at the moment, to be fair. I suppose it's time we uh, mosey on home. There is a Norn air chest here somewhere. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Einherjar? I thought Einherjar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok time. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. <laughs> Back to Thor and Odin stories? Where were we? There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. I can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body. <laughs> let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. But admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best. But not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Oh, I know. There was Skag, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections. So he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty, the Yonar military leader. Slandered by Odin? Tricked and murdered by Thor. Rold, we will finish later. Thank you. <gasps> Want something in particular? Hilt of Agravado. Slash forward three waves of light that deal increasing damage against enemies afflicted with the sonic. Well, hot damn, that sounds spicy. And Atreus? Lethal detonation. Kratos? Get another resurrection set. Whatever you need, I'll create. Gonna keep it spatter free this time, right? Kratos?
Take care of your armor, and it'll take care of you. Okay. Let's uh, pop back and see how T is doing, shall we? Tears had enough time to find its equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Where's he? Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes, and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? <gasps> a magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Well, any question? question? Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are lean worms, the brood of Neithhog. Neithhog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithhog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithhog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Kratos. I suppose I needn't take up more of your time. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me. Won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're eat in a better dinner. Mood. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed. Forgive me. <clears throat> Funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. Being locked up for so long, you forget how much joy. You know what he's putting in that so-called stew of his, don't you? Vegetables! Fucking vegetables! From out of the dirt! That just ain't right. Brunk! You cracked me up. Oh boy. The truth is always more complicated. To imagine it's simple is dangerous. Okay, guys. Let's... So see what Tyr has to say on the next us, one. You'll have my That's gonna do it for this one. Save the jellyfish I I could do more. thing. I really do. <laughs> That's just. But for now, please. And uh, clear the desert in Alfheim. No doubt I'm gonna have to go back there again. Not in looking forward to that.